Hello, you just received your new knee. Congratulations. Before you head out the door today, there are some items we'd like to cover to ensure you have the safest and fastest recovery. We will cover exercises, simple transfers and mobility, ways to make self-care easier, and tips to keep you safe at home. So let's get started. Please complete all exercises three times per day. If you are having difficulties with pain management, please refer to your doctor for assistance. We'll begin with ankle pumps. You can do these both sitting or lying down in bed. Start by pumping both ankles up and down as if you're pressing a gas pedal. Repeat 20 times. Onto quad set with your heel propped. Lie on your back with a towel under your ankle. Avoid putting anything under your knee. Push surgical knee down into the bed. Hold five seconds, repeat 10 times. For heel slide, lie on your back, slide your surgical heel towards your bottom, repeat 10 times. For seated knee extension, while sitting in a chair, straighten out your surgical leg. Hold for five seconds, repeat 10 times. And finally, seated knee flexion. While sitting in a chair, slide the foot of your surgical leg backwards under the chair until you are no longer able to bend your knee. Hold for 10 seconds, repeat 10 times. Bed mobility techniques help you transfer from a lying down position to a sitting position. There is no right or wrong way to get out of bed. Choose which technique works best for you. If you're having trouble sitting up on your own, you can use your gait belt to assist with your surgical leg. For this technique, to make a loop, feed the belt up through the teeth and down the other side. To complete the toilet transfer, you will back up until you feel the toilet seat with the back of your legs. Extend out your surgical leg and reach back and slowly lower yourself onto the toilet seat. To stand back up, you'll place your hands on the handlebars and push yourself into a standing position while keeping your surgical leg extended. Other devices to help in the bathroom include toilet riser or shower chair. Many patients require assistance or tools following a surgery for a short time to help with their daily cares. We'll go over a few of these. A reacher, utilized to be an extension of the arm, this tool can help you with dressing and picking items off the floor or just out of reach. A sock aid, these are available to help put on your socks if you're having difficulty or unable to reach your feet. Other equipment includes long-handled sponge, dressing stick, and long-handled shoehorn. When you stand up from any surface, push your hands from the object you are standing up from instead of pulling up on the walker to stand as the walker can move. The sequencing for stairs is the same no matter how many steps you have. Go up leading with your non-surgical leg and down with your surgical leg. How you manage your walker is the only difference. For one step, make sure you get your feet close to the step. Lift your walker up onto the landing and step leading with your non-surgical leg. Have someone hold the walker to ensure it doesn't move. For two steps, lift your walker into the house. You may hold onto the walker to step up leading with your non-surgical leg or use the side of the house for stability. If holding onto the walker, have someone also stabilize the walker so it doesn't move. For more than two steps, have your caregiver lift the walker into the house. Hold on to the rails when stepping up leading with your non-surgical leg. If you don't have a rail, you may use a cane. When going down the stairs, walk to the edge of the step. Lead with your surgical leg using a rail or cane if no rail is available. When getting into the vehicle, pivot until your back is facing the seat, then step backwards until your legs are touching the frame of the car. Slowly lower into the vehicle by sitting on the seat. Scoot backwards, then lift your legs into the vehicle. You may use your hands to help lift your operated leg into the car. If you have cloth seats, consider placing a plastic bag on the seat to ease mobility.
To ensure your safety at home, we encourage you to pick up your throw rugs and electrical cords, install night lights in your hallways, store food and frequently use items within safe reach, Make sure large pets do not jump on you and small pets do not get tangled in your feet. This brings us to the end of the video and with that you should feel empowered to take the next steps to living your unique best life. If you haven't yet, please make sure to set up your home health or outpatient therapy appointment. We'll see you soon!